Those were the days. Back when Germans and Americans still appreciated each other. But something's changed between the U.S. and its one-time model pupil Germany. The ease is gone, and so is the trust. I think German-American relations are at the lowest point they've ever been. A transatlantic partnership does not mean that one partner does what it wants while the other looks on. This relationship now uh, it will stay uh, important selectively, but it will no longer be the centerpiece of either American foreign policy or international relations. The reason for the discontent is that the U.S. is monitoring global data traffic, also in Germany. And it's highly likely that includes the Chancellor's communications. For several months, German officials have been trying to find out exactly what information the U.S. is gathering and extract a promise that Washington will stop doing it in the future. So far, that's been dramatically unsuccessful. The U.S. cannot act like a hegemon, throwing around its economic and military might like it did during the Cold War. It doesn't work that way. A genuine partnership can only exist on an equal footing. To those in the former West Germany after the Second World War, America was victor, protector and role model, and eventually ally. And even if the German public criticizes U.S. policies, the political and business elite have always stood alongside the United States. But the NSA affair has changed that. There's great uncertainty among the public here in Germany, and the political class is dissatisfied with the silence coming out of Washington. Against that background, people see the situation very differently today, including transatlantic relations, than they did 20 years ago. Mr. President, thank you for having us. Germany's displeasure has been felt in the U.S. A clear sign of that came when President Barack Obama gave an exclusive interview on German TV in which he admitted making mistakes. It was a conciliatory gesture, but little more. I don't need and I don't want to harm that relationship by uh, surveillance mechanisms that somehow uh, would impede the kind of communication and trust that we have. And so uh, uh, what I can say is as long as I'm president of the United States, uh, the chancellor of Germany will not have to worry about this. But the U.S. still needs to gather data, he said. The NSA affair has highlighted that the U.S. certainly values Germany as an ally, but won't change its political course when it comes to global data monitoring or military missions. And besides, Americans don't really understand what all the fuss is about. There's been this disagreement or mini crisis, if you will, over the NSA uh, experience. Okay, so let's move beyond that. And let's have a broader and deeper conversation, not just bilaterally, but let's have a broader and deeper conversation again about what ought to be the rules for the uh, globe. We will do what we have to do. Richard Haas was an advisor to the first president, George Bush, and later to his son. Today, he heads America's most influential foreign policy think tank. He says the U.S. is looking for allies that will play along, without reservations. Americans do not get up in the morning and say, how do we limit Germany's role? The reality is Germans get up in the morning and limit their own role simply because of what they're not prepared to do. The good old days are definitely over. Germany certainly wants to remain at the United States side, but the question people here are asking is, at what price? <laughs>